Uh, hi, this is Turd, and um, this is tutorial is going to be a little different than the other ones. It's going to be on designing uh, like a room for a game engine, and um, that's pretty much it. Just like a room that you can use in a game, and uh, it's not going to be a specific room. Just any room that you can uh, customize to make different, but. Uh, Okay, we're just going to actually keep the default cube and just size it out uh, so you have the camera in it and bring it up to about just under the line or the grid and then go into wireframe right here and wireframe so you can see everything you can bring the camera up and the light because this will light the whole room. Bring it to about the middle. And that's pretty much the room. I'm not going to go into texturing and everything. But um, I'm just going to design like a window and a door too for it. So click on the box or room and then click tab to go into edit mode and down here where there's this triangle click that to go into face select yeah and just select one face doesn't matter which one and then we're gonna subdivide it so W subdivide uh, two times and then we're just gonna make a window right here so click on one of the squares and then hit delete and just faces so now there's just an open space there and now click on another side of the room and subdivide that one two times two and then this will be the door so instead of doing one we're gonna well we're gonna do one and then hold down shift and click another one so now we have two boxes selected and then hit delete again and delete faces again so now there's a door and a window and if you go into solid mode you can see that um, this is pretty much a basic room and uh, you could add uh, plane just so it looks more I don't know better for a game and you can walk around on that you can definitely like uh, customize this more and make it a put textures and stuff like that uh, one more thing I can do is go into edit mode and just select the all the top faces on the room by uh, holding shift down and selecting them all by clicking on them and then we're just gonna extrude them by hitting E and then it'll say region or individual faces and just say region and pull it up to about there and now we're going to size it down just like that till the well it doesn't really matter where it is but I'm just going to put it pretty close so all the points are pretty much touching and um, it's kind of like a more gradual sloping roof I don't know you don't have to do that but that's pretty much it for this and yep yeah.